Okay, so this is a um, tutorial for Avenza and just the basics tools and how to use them. Uh, there is another video which I will supply below that is um, we'll go over the tutorial of how to download Avenza, how to download the maps and put them into Avenza. So this is just going over the tools of how to use Avenza. So we'll go into Avenza, go to the map that you're going to be using. Okay, so it'll come up like this and there'll be boundaries and rivers and numbers and all that kind of stuff. So you just go like that to move around your map. North should be pointing um, that way. But see, you'll see that come up there. That'll tell you where north is. And when you're on the property, you should come up as a blue map, a blue dot. And if you want to find where you are, there's this arrow down here that you'll click. See, it'll tell you if you're on the map or not. If you are, it'll move this little grey uh, crosshair to where you are on the map. And you'll be a, a blue dot. Okay, so up here you can go to info. This will tell you, I suppose, the details of the map. Down here, this little pin here, you can click that and that's, you can label that whatever you want. So, you know, to tutorial, you can choose a symbol, you can change the colors, it can be well, any of those. So we'll just leave it as a red pin. Scroll down, you can also put a photo with that pin. You can also put in a description. So, you know, tutorial. Oh, tutorial. Tutorial. Um, so there'll be a description. The it'll have the coordinates for the location, and it's also going to do it at the time I put that in. So then you'll submit. There you are. There it is. Now that pin's going to go in right where that little crosshair is going to be. That's where it's put it. You can also click on it. Again, it'll tell you the title. You can edit it, symbol, photo, description. And if you want to get rid of it, you can press and that'll delete it. You can also save this or send that um, pinpoint. So we will close that. Zoom out is an in and out is just the general zooming in and out on a any smartphone. And down the bottom is also the coordinates of where that um, crosshair is. It'll change as you move around the map. So down here is also a little spanner. You click that and you'll come up with all these options. So if you want to draw and measure it's going to come up with here. Tap anywhere to add a vertex at the crosshair. Tap and hold anywhere to enter specific coordinates or heading distance. So, you'll tap and there you go. So you just tap anywhere and it'll, wherever that crosshair is it'll put a point and it's going to do this line and it's going to be in meters for that segment. You can stretch it all the way over here and where you want that to basically stop if you want to do another line from there you just tap again there you go move it and it's going to move it again for you you've just got to play around with it to figure out how to orientate yourself with the movements so it's going to have a total of both those segments and then it's going to give you a segment of that particular one from the last point you tapped with. So up here you can also, so this button here, you can change the color, any of those. Back, 
can also change the units or add a custom one. And you can also change the line thickness. So down here you will also find an X which will cancel what you're doing or a tick which will set that line in place. Down here we'll also turn, we'll turn it into a polygon. See how it completes the triangle wherever you put it? Again it's going to give you total meters squared and the perimeter. Again you can change the colors, change the fill color change unit areas and you can change the opacity. See? Okay, you can also click that to get rid of it. There's also the undo button. See? That'll undo the last tap or the last line you drew in. There's also this one here. Again that'll tell you where you are on the map. Again I'm not on the map so it's saying not on the map. So if I wanted to leave that line there as it is across to here, or how about we do it across to the pin and then we press tick. So it's going to set that line there. At any point you want to get rid of that line or you want to know that distance you just click it. It's going to tell you the meters and the name you can also press the I and that will take you to again the color if you want to put a photo, description and all the details. You can also delete it or share that line. So, other tools record GPS tracks. So when you're on the map if you want to track where you are on the map and where you go, so if you wanted to say go around the boundary of this property here and you are over here, if you click that it'll start recording and then press start, you can then cancel but you want to start it. So it's going to start tracking me, so if I was a blue dot on here and I was on the property and I drove up here, up here and over here, it's, it's going to track me using a line similar to this. So um, yeah. And then when you want it to stop tracking you, because it will continue to track you even if you close, even if you lock your phone, you want to say stop. Say stop tracking. And that line that you've it's tracked you with will stay on the map afterwards, but it'll stop tracking you. You can also find by coordinates, so you can put coordinates in and that'll find where those coordinates are on the map. You can't put a coordinate in there that's not on the map, it won't register that. Press cancel. Done. You can also plot photos. So it's going to want to access your photos. Um, you want to press OK. Again, the, the photos need to be geotagged, but you can also add photos to the lines or the pinpoints. So, you'll have to probably add them to from your photo library or camera to add a photo to a pin or a line. Okay, so another thing you can do here is this button here. Most of you won't be concerned with it, but you can go into the layer. That's all of the things that are going to be on it. See, it's got one place mark, one track line. So that's accurate because there's one track line and there's one pin. So you go into that. See, one line, one tutorial pin. Now you can go into these. It's going to tell. It's going to take you to where that is. See, it's selected it. Unselect is just to click somewhere off the map see the tools will come up as you click like that. So go back in there. So if you want to if you want to export one of these and so you can use it in your Google 
Google Maps because you can't export these lines and pinpoints. So as it is here, you can't then upload this map with those pinpoints and lines on it together. You can only have the map or these features separately. They will be geo-referenced though, so they'll have GPS coordinates for all of their, for this whole line and for that pinpoint. So you can go into here, go into the layer, and you can click this button down here. Now it's exporting. Now you select email and the format. Usually it's going to be KML for the Google Maps. And you can press export and that'll send it via email. Then it'll give you the options again to mail, text, any of those.